In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the stroke width of your lines as well as creating a custom stroke width. So I have five lines out here. They're all just a line from one end to the other with a stroke on it of 50 point. Now, if I click my stroke options, I can obviously change that stroke weight. I can change the cap of it, whether it's rounded or not, but I can also change the profile. Now the original default here is uniform, but we have these other width profiles. So if I wanted it to be skinny on the edges and wider in the middle, I could do that. I could select this next one and change that width profile to something that's got a little bit of like a roller coaster effect, right? It gets a little wider, skinnier and wider. Same with each of these. So I can really quickly use any of these default options to adjust the width profile of my lines. But what if I wanted to create my own width profile? What you need to use is the width tool. Shift W is the shortcut key for that. It's over here in your tool panel. It looks kind of like that. Now I can click on the edge of this stroke and then click and drag to create my own profile just by adjusting this stroke out here. So what if I wanted it to go from wider on one side and kind of scale down a little bit. So I scaled that one down. Maybe over here I want to go a little bit wider with it. So once we click this properly, we can grab it just like that. So it goes from wide down to narrow and you can see the width profile over here. When you use the width tool, creating a little custom profile. This profile isn't really saved though. So what we need to do is go back into stroke down to profile and click this little button right here to add this profile to our width profile selections. We hit OK and we've added it in. Now I have two of them because I created one in a different tutorial, but let's create one more. I want more of a triangle effect here. So for this path down here, I'm going to use that width tool, Shift W, and in the very middle, I can actually click and drag that out as well. So now we've got this weird width that kind of bellows out in the middle. Maybe I want it to be a little bit wider on one end, a little bit skinnier on the other. So it's not quite as uniform, right? But if we look at this, we've got this variable width pattern. We can add it to our profiles, click OK. And now we have this other different type of width profile here. So using the width tool, you can create new profiles. You create them by selecting a stroke that has a new width profile and then adding it in here uh, so that you can use it later on other objects. So if I wanted to change this top one, I can go back into profiles. I grabbed both the top two and I could select one of the profiles that I've created. And that creates those lines really quickly, just like that. Now you might notice that the width profiles don't work on brush strokes. I covered this in a recent tutorial, but if I were to create a brush stroke out here, B is the brush tool, and I create a stroke just like that. I can actually scale up even the default stroke width to something like 20. So here's my stroke, right? The reason that you can't add a width profile, I can even click on this and add one, but it doesn't do anything to my stroke is because in the window dropdown down to brushes, we actually have a specific brush on this. And I'm not honestly sure of the details. I just know that on this three point round brush, adding width profiles, even changing the caps, none of that works. You can't even make a dotted line. So we need to change this profile after we've drawn our stroke with the brush tool to a basic line. Once we have a basic line, you can see it already added that width profile in here. And if I scale up the stroke weight a little bit, you'll be able to see that even better. So the width profile, actually applies to this brush stroke that I created. And I can add rounded ends just like that brush stroke had. And you could even add a dashed line if you wanted at this point. You can use it like it's a regular stroke. The reason it wasn't applying those effects earlier was because it was a certain brush instead of that basic profile. So I hope that makes sense. And you can add width profiles to any of your strokes. You can also use the width tool without adding a profile. You can just change the width of different strokes. If I had a couple of these out here, but I wanted a cup, you know, I wanted some of them to be a little bit different from each other. I could just grab that width tool and go anywhere on my path and kind of change this one custom. I don't have to add a width profile unless I want to reuse that exact width profile on a different stroke. That's when I would go in and, and add that. That's how to edit the width of your strokes here in Illustrator and create custom width profiles.